Good morning. Hi, Clayson and Emery. How are you guys doing so far today? Everything good? Really well. Really well. Really well. Yeah. Okay. I got to just tell you something. I am so obsessed with this series. I just binged right through to seven what they gave me. Really? Now, I don't know what that says about me. But anyway, <laughs> I digress. Um, Anne-Marie, let's start with you because what juicy material. Were you at all familiar with the original series, The Clan, that sh and then Sharon readapted this? No, I hadn't seen the Belgian show and I was instructed not to. It was interesting. I spoke to Sharon after she sent me the scripts and she said, please don't watch The Clan. Yeah. She said, please, please, please don't watch it. It's going to be really different. It will have a very different energy and style. Um, but I'd be a bit curious now to look back and see it. But um, but yeah, I, I, I mean, the premise is fantastic, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So how could she not want to... Yeah. Do something with Ab it. Absolutely. Now, Clace, I got a bone to pick with you, my friend, because, you know. Not with me. <laughs> Not with me. Pick it with JP. Okay. Okay. With JP, I yeah. digress. However. Okay, I'll try and, and stand up for him now. <laughs> you are so good at playing oh, bad. My God. You are the most vile character I have seen in a right. series. In forever, every episode, I was like, how can it get worse and worse? But he does. So first of all, I have to ask you, as a guy who is pretty seasoned at playing bad guys, what is this the worst, worst guy you've ever played? And how do you justify these characters in your mind? Well, I mean, I, as an actor, you always have to try and justify them. I think you do, because uh, otherwise it's not going to work for the story. So. Yeah. It, 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 we need him to be as nasty as you just described, because otherwise the story is not going to work. Right. But um, um, what was the first part of the question? Um, just playing them, like just just getting into this guy's mindset. Seriously. Yeah, but I mean, the thing is, I think that we're all like we all have those sides in us, right? We all have, you know, all the the nasty little bits that we don't want to come out. Uh, and, <laughs> and, um, and it is a question of allowing those things to be there and, and just, you know, overexposing them or shining a light on it. And, and, and also it really helps that the writing is so good as it is on this yeah. one, because it's not so much, you know, it's not something that I have to invent or I have to come up with some, I mean, it's in there. Every almost everything he says and everything he does is horrible, oh, and yeah. uh, it really is. Is um, so, so in a way, and I know this may sound almost a little arrogant, but it is in a way, you know, just putting in the plug and just rolling with it. And to, no, now I know what 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 the per first part of your question was: Is this the worst you've played? And I do think yes. it is. I do think it is because. Um, with, with so many of the other bad guys, there's always been like a charm or a cleverness or something cool or something that you liked or you wanted to be. But with yeah. this one, you just don't. There's nothing yeah. there. You'd never want to be this one. He's just an asshole. And oh, clearly. And that's yes, very clearly. Different. And that's yeah. Very yeah. And Anne Marie, okay. So, you know, I, the whole time I, I just wanted to give Grace a big giant hug. Like I wanted to come over my TV and, and hug you because. You know, she's in this situation. She's very different from her sisters. How do you get into the mindset of playing a woman like this? Do you do any research on, on women who perhaps have been abused or, um, you know, I, I just, I, man, I, I kudos to you on your performance in this, seriously. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I had in the past worked on projects that had dealt with this subject matter before and had researched and had been in contact and visited women's refuges. Yeah. So uh, I did have a little bit of, of that in my bank, if you like, uh, which was really useful um, and also helped me be much more forgiving um, mm. because people can be quick to judge, can't they, as we know, why, why don't you leave? Why do you put up with it? Why would you, why aren't you stronger, blah. Right. Um, but we all know, don't we, that anyone who's ever been bullied, even if it was in the school playground, knows it's very difficult to whistleblow or, or stand up for yourself, but, it was a challenge because when we find Grace, she's a sort of woman in the mist. You know, we don't really know who she is because she's lost herself. 
Yeah. You know, she's living with this man for whom she's never enough. And so she's constantly shape shifting, trying to be another version of something. So her identity has become very blurred. So that was the challenge for me in a way, because it isn't what I'm used to playing. And so, yeah, the, 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 that could be frustrating at times. I just felt like, how do I find that? How do I do that? Mm. But also, we've talked about this a lot, Clayson and I, but a real priority for us was to make the relationship as believable as possible inside yeah. of this craziness. Yeah. You have to invest in, in that. You have to invest in the fact that that was once a love affair mm -hmm. for you to feel so desperate about it. But also you have to invest in your love of grace and your hatred of him to will the sisters on. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the narrative drive, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Now, talking about the sisters, I mean, what a phenomenal cast that you guys. You, oh, man, I was like jonesing. Like, I would have brought you all coffee on the set. <laughs> I would love to have been there. Clace, what was it like to be surrounded by all these phenomenal women? It, I mean, listen, <laughs> it was it was marvelous. I mean, the, it was marvelous and it was horrible. <laughs> And the marvellous bit was that it was so easy to play off. I mean, this whole energy and this connection that you found quite early on, it make, it's, it, that is the whole thing that he feels is a threat to his life. So that's yeah. the whole thing that drives the, the, the thing for me. So to have that was just amazing. But I will also have to say that, there, I mean, you know, going into work every day and knowing that everybody in the room is hating you more than anybody in the world. And all they talk about when you turn your back is how they can kill you. It's like, that gets to you. <laughs> Some, there were days where I was like, oh my God, I, they really don't like me. And also I don't think the director likes me and nobody <laughs> likes me. And they all, it, they, I mean, it actually did sometimes get to me a little bit that, you know, that the whole thing that, you, cause it's there, obviously. Yeah. You do, and then we sit down and we have a coffee between takes, and it's fine. But uh, but but you put yourself in there, and uh, and there were days where I was like, "Whoa, this is getting too real. They really <laughs> yeah. don't like me." <laughs> well, you did your job great, both of you. Honestly, I wish I could talk to you for an hour. I absolutely love this series. Oh it's, my god, it's thank you so much! Brilliant, oh, and I cannot crazy. wait to get to the end because I, I want more. I, I just want, want to know. Just Thank you so much for your time you. today. I'm such a big fan of both of yours. And Thanks. come back and visit us in Toronto sometime, okay? No, we will. Thank we you. will. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your time. I appreciate oh, thank it. Thank you.